Well, I've got a reptile and I've got a beautiful insect. Now, there's an insect that's sitting, and that insect is called a banded groundling. Now, this is the male for the banded groundling because, you, as you can see on its wings, it's got those little black bands and the wing then that goes down towards the body. The female doesn't have those little black bands. She's slightly different looking. And the reason why these males are sitting like this is, well, they're resting at the moment. They chase each other around quite a bit as they try and find females to mate with. But every now and then you'll see that the stick is being bumped and the stick is moving. Now, the reason why the stick is moving is because at the moment there is a terrapin, which is the type of reptile that Taylor was talking about, that is also in the area. And it's gone underwater now. Hopefully it will come up again just now. But can you believe that those little groundlings or damsels or dragonflies which is also what people will call them they are what inspired helicopters so if you've seen a helicopter back home and seen it flying this is where they got the idea for a helicopter and the ability to be able to hover they watched the dragonfly and the way that its wings move and that gave them the idea of how to get a helicopter to be able to fly and to be able to hover around which is very very cool now our terrapin hasn't come out there but there's a really big one just to the left in the middle of this water hole and I was saying that the water holes will bring lots of life so there's our terrapin which is basically like a fresh water turtle that's what we would call a terrapin now terrapins turtles and tortoises are all very similar tortoise though is something that lives on land it won't go into the water at all it will only stay on land and move around on land it will come and drink water but it won't actually live in the water a terrapin is different. A terrapin does spend a lot of time on land. It needs to breathe air and it needs to be able to go onto land to get to other water points because being a freshwater animal, often fresh water dries up and they have to find somewhere else to go. So they are what's called semi-aquatic. So they either they in water and land and then a turtle is a animal that lives only in the water and will only come onto land when it's time to nest and to lay its eggs. That's the only time you'll see a turtle on land, otherwise the rest of its life is in water. And that's how we can tell the difference between all of them. Now that particular terrapin that we're seeing there is a very, very large one. They don't get that big out here. They're not like turtles that get very large or even tortoises. These guys stay quite small. So that's a really large one that we're seeing. And when it's that big, there'll be very few things that can eat this terrapin. You'll find that maybe the only things that would be able to go after that could be a leopard if it was close to the edge of the water. What's that? Oh, the dragonfly is landing on its head. <laughs> so Senso is showing me that there's a little dragonfly that's irritating the terrapin and landing on top of its nose. But I think our terrapin's gone underwater. And I was saying that if they get too close to the land, then sometimes things like leopard will get them or hyenas or various other things. So they have to be careful and stay near the water. Once they get big like that, they also don't have to worry about fish or anything else. Now, these little terrapins, they'll eat all kinds of insects. So you'll find that they'll go after little worms that are in the water, um, damsel larvae, which is the, the basically the small animal that hatches from an egg of the dragonfly. We call it a damsel larvae, a mosquito larvae, any of the insects that lay their eggs in water. And when those larvae hatch, these terrapins will go after that. They'll also feed off the animals. So when I say the animals, I mean if buffalo or some of the antelope come to the water's edge and they sit near the water then these terrapins can come out and they can feed off the parasites so the ticks and the mites that get onto the, the fur of let's say a buffalo and they're able to then get those off there so they like insects more than anything else they will also eat any bit of meat so, so if they let's say a crocodile killed something and there was a meat in this water they would then feed off that as well and even fish if they can get a chance so they're pretty opportunistic and they'll feed off all kinds of different things as well as even scavenge so while they do hunt for themselves to get insects they do scavenge which means that they will try and feed off something that is already dead that maybe something else has already killed